Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the world of Applecat. Little kitty in the big city. We got our first fish. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, we did pretty much everything we have to do. Uh, I'm sure there's still more stuff that I'm missing, but for now, we can actually climb. Oops. Oh, epic. Uh, but before we go into new territory here. Oh, you're you have a shiny around your neck. Interesting. Uh, for now, we're actually going to see if there's anything else we can climb. Oops, I fucked that up completely. I meant to do. God damn it. Oh, look. Another uh, thing here. Where is a recycling bin? Where's the recycling bin? God damn it, where's the recycling bin? You know what? I don't care. I am now a litterer. Uh, I do remember seeing this. E E. Oh, -ho! got it. Now we can... <gasps> the laundry. Can I? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Nap. Catnapper. Aww. How cozy is that? Just a nice. I'm sure there'll be a ten-hour loop. Of cat relaxing. Oh shit, there's a bird. Okay, wake up. We got shit to do. Baby. I'm gonna do the dangerous thing and put this cat in the dryer. Oh, or not. Okay. He's really hard to control right now. <laughs> the hell is going on? Sir? Okay. I was goofing off, but then. I no longer wanted to goof off. Whoa, he just threw, f flew through the door. Epic. Okay, and he's shit inside. What an asshole. Uh, is this a button we can hit? No. Epic. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Well. Interesting avenue here. Oh shit! Aw, oh, come on, man. I just want the shiny. Can I drop off? There we go. Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, we gotta precision jump that. Fucking finally. Okay! I think we will actually move on now. That was the only place I really remember doing or having a climbable area. Catnapper, sleep in all cozy napping spots. We ain't got time for that shit. We need to go. Wow. Now I'm assuming this is way too much for our little kitty paws right now. Yeah, not happening. Okay. That's good. Hello, goose. Ah, hello there. Wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance. I think that depends on the problem. Oh, oh, I see. Quite right, quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone. Yeah, it's rather pressing concern. Although perhaps I'm just panicking, but there's no two ways about it. About what? Oh, didn't I say? I seem to have mislaid my ducklings. Mislaid? Is that a bird joke? I don't follow. <laughs> Never mind, missing duckling sounds pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Well, we were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood. Me teaching the youngsters some local history, etc. For example, you know that the robot statue in the park behind us? Uh, I didn't even know there was a robot statue there. 
Oh, you should obviously visit it. Oh, absolutely visit it. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in a traditional sense. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself, in fact, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal robots. Delightful. Back then, this was a lake, hulking great wet thing where the pair would swim, splashing and frolicking, you know, the sort of thing. But robots in water, eh? Eh. All that fizzing and spurtling, sputtering, <laughs> not simpatico at all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees, the robot and not the duck, I mean. Robot swimming days were over. Terribly sad stuff, so he asked the duck to change his programming. Quite the feat, if you ask me. Could never get my head around computers myself. What the fuck is happening right now? Where is this going? <laughs> the duck helped program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Grand idea. That, and it went beautifully, but... One fine day, probably much like this one. <laughs> Truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. Wait, a monster? A Gekku. Usually Gekku is our protector. You know, breathing fire, saving orphans, charity galas. Lovely chap, apart from the rampages, really. Rampages? Oh yes, humans write those, <laughs> those up in little paper documentaries. Very engaging, really. Paper, documentary... Do you mean comics? So Geku kidnaps the duck and whoopsie daisy throws him through a star portal. Whoosh, quack, never see him again. And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the royal lo loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. Are you saying Geku kidnapped your children? Oh no, it's just a great story. I share it with my ducklings before we split to find the na more neighborhood stories. Our little show and tell session. Show and tell, that sounds fun. Oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions, all very exciting in the moment. But uh, I'm, I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha. Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Uh, not really a practical duck, you see. I, But I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful when that happens. So I retraced my steps back here and waited. No luck? Alas, no. But you seem like a practical sort of cat. Very resourceful. So could we team up? <laughs> I keep watch here. Be kind of enjoying it, really. And you scout the city? The whole city? It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down the search. Eureka! We made a city map just last week, marvelous thing. Part of our project to catalog all the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each of their favorite places on it, too. Such enthusiasm for maps. And I bet there that's where they will have gone. Here, you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful. But you'll be able to track them down in no time. I got a map! Map made by the ducklings is really good place up to view. Just ignore the fish markers. Can't really <laughs> can't see what interest they would be to the kitty unless you're that a uh, budding. Icatholic? I don't even fucking know that word. Of course. Are you not the family? Oh, interesting. Oh, and it shows us all the fish. And there's a Tanuki portal. Okay, I'm guessing the yellow area is where I have not explored. Okay. Interesting. Oh, here's a wall I can climb. Hello? Oh, I can go... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, didn't mean to do this. Goddamn, get down. Ow. 
<laughs> Shit. Crawl under here. What do we got? A capsule! Is it another hat? It's a turtle hat! Now, why do I suddenly want to race go-karts with a plumber in red overalls? Doesn't he have blue overalls? Am I stupid? Uh, huh. I got that one. I'm a ninja. Ninja kitty turtle thingy. Okay, so that leads back to... I never did talk to that cat. Let me... Holy shit. Okay, first of all... God... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking... Okay, let me precision jump. Oh, come on. Bro, what the fuck was that? I'm stuck here. Can't I just fucking jump here? And then jump up there? Okay, well, fuck it. No, 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 no! God damn it! Oh my god, this cat, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Give me that. Get the fuck up here. I wish this was more responsive. Go over here. Fuck that little shiny. I don't even care. I need to talk to you. Excuse me. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm the mayor. If the mayor can help you, no one can. Thank goodness I found you. You see your worship. <laughs> I need to get home. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to get home and I need shinies and there are these trash cans and one thing at a time, friend. Sounds like work. Cats are not built for work. Cats are built for mischief and snoring. We are soft, sleepy. Sometimes they're <laughs> it's whimsy. Sometimes there's pushing things onto the floor. Yes, but your enthusiasm is tiring. The mayor cannot help anyone when sleepy. I didn't mean to... So you must help the mayor achieve nap time. It is only the right and proper. I first responsibility as deputy mayor will be the hated jars of jam. Oh, I see one up there and up there and up there. Okay, there's three of them. Remove these eyesores from the mayor's vision. Isn't it just jam? It's a symbol, a symbol that human <laughs> that a human no longer fears a cat. They leave their glass jars on shelves and expect them to stay there? I cannot continue. It cannot continue. I guess that makes sense, but why are you saying to remove them? Slight push, crash, meow. <laughs> the breaking of the jars will be a lullaby for your poor mayor. And then you'll help me? Mayor cannot hear you over the noise of symbolic jars. Help the mayor sleep. You got it. Whoop! Hup. One down. Oh, ho, stupid bitch doesn't even know. Oh, wrong way. Get fucked. Dumbass. Oh, she's pissed. Oh, come on, get up there. Fuck you! All right, I did it. Perfect. The mayor can now slumber. Before you do, your grace, uh, you said you could help. Yes, the mayor will dispense valuable assistance. Thank you for helping me. I will teach you the off official way to respond to jam jars. Wait, what? Or anything else that is terrible? Voila! This is my yuck face. Yuck! You may now express disgust at any moment by holding triangle. That isn't quite what the mayor is. No need for your gratitude, little deputy. Yes, thank you. Or not thank you. And now the mayor must rest. So sleepy, so unable to further requ hear further requests for help. But, okay. Well, fuck you too. That was, uh, not worth it. Oh, I didn't move the thing. 
Oh, god damn it. I gotta go all the way around? Hold up, what the fuck was that? Oh, there's like a back room? Okay, let's try... Oh, uh -huh. ow. God, I keep hitting my fucking head. It's a good thing I put this turtle shell on, god damn. Not the cucumbers! Cats hate cucumbers. But I got a new hat! Banana hat! Mm, do I go for defense? Or do I go for silly? Go my banana hat cat. I'll go for silly. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Can I jump in this box? If I fits, I sits. Ah! Good one, everyone. All right, back to the duckling problem, I guess. I gotta go all the way back here. I gotta open up that shortcut for sure. I gotta remember to do that. Up we go. Yoink. All right. Cool, cool. That was this one, right? Oops. No, I jumped down there and I... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Get off the fucking sink. Ow. Fuck. In we go. Okay, so that's open. And we grab this. Hello? Uh, uh, uh. Cool. That's open. Just in case we need to get back there. Quick and... Quick and fast. Ooh. Crow. Kitty, you look like... You, <laughs> you look like the kind of cat who enjoys a stylish accessory or two. What makes you say that? Thank you for noticing. I'm very observant, Crovid. You are. Oh, it was nice to see you again. <laughs> Unrelatedly. Have you heard about the new and glorious business venture? Uh, it's called Shinies for Hats. You're selling hats now? Absolutely not. It's literally called Shinies for Hats. Aha, that's the clever part. I'm not selling the hats. I'm selling access to hats. You see, the hats live in these little pod machines. And you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom needed to use this machine. I'm not a helpless kitty. I do not qu quibble <laughs> over who, uh, who called whom helpless. Not when there are hats at stake. Only I, Crow, can perform the ancient Crow ritual of inserting a token and turning a knob. That doesn't sound too difficult. Which brings us to the business. My proposition is as follows. Five shinies lets you hire one Crow, that's me, to retrieve one hat. So you are selling hats. No, I'm a facilitator operating with a gig economy framework. Jesus Christ. With a business called Shinies for Hats. Yes, but only because Shinies for access to crows who have access to hats tested poorly with consumers. And to use this business, I pay five Shinies and get one hat. You're missing the subtle economic genius of my idea. I am the hat gatekeeper. Look, do you want a hat or not? Yes, please. Here you go. I got a... Tangelo hat? Wanna buy a hat? Yes, please. How many shinies do I have? Hair hat. Oh, and then they only saw those four hats. I don't have enough shinies. Okay. Oh, -ho! a Rubik's cube. What do I do with a Rubik's cube? Will you take Rubik's cubes? You suck. Okay. So there's shinies over here. I think I'll just pick these up real quick. Oh, there's the robot. Oh, poor robot. There's another shiny. 
Is there a shiny up here? Ugh. Yeah, fuck you. Whoa, I can talk to you from there? <laughs> yes, please. Here you go. Got a watermelon hat. Melon for my melon. Very cool. Uh, I did see this right here. Aha! Another hat! Perfect. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Ooh, a cactus hat. The ideal hat for when you need some personal space. Beautiful. Okay. <gasps> a dog bone. Oh, can I? Ooh, can I take this back to the dog with the shiny ball? Let's see here. Fuck that dog, I don't care. Uh, the dog was in the construction yard, right? Yes. And I believe I can crawl under here because I opened it up. Oh, just in time to miss your ass. Fuck you. Okay. Ow. I might have to go up. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Son of a bitch. Please let me go. Can't you hear me crying? Please, oh God. What sweet music. Meow 10 times in a row. Sick. All right. Oh, there's a hole right there I can get. Okay. I'll make a loop around. Ooh. Industrial artist. Leave your paw prints in wet concrete. I can't believe I didn't do that before. That's insane. Ugh, there was a dog bone here the whole time. Fuck me, dude. I don't even need it here. I can just jump for it. Hold on. I didn't even need the damn bone. God damn. Corn hood. Corn dogs are over. It's the era of corn cats. Do you give me something good if I give you this bone? What if I drop it here? Give a dog a bone. You'll be on that for a while. Oh, there's a trash can here. If I just run into it, if I jump in, does that do the same thing as running into it? Because running into it would be faster then. Seems to be. Got a cup. Okay, well, let's see if I can give this bone. Come on, get down there. To the other dog. Maybe. If I don't find another dog with another bone. Oh, look at this. Oh, nap spot. Oh, I didn't even see this back here. Oh, look at this cute little. Oh, the bonsai tree. Oh, look at little belly. Oh, I want to touch his belly. Oh, my cat. So my cat takes after my dog in a lot of ways because we got the cat first and then we got the dog. And ever since we got the dog, the cat licks us more because she's trying to uh, show affection like the dog does. She's always licking us like a dog and she lets us rub her tummy because uh, the dog's always doing it. And then the dog takes after the cat. Oh, bye, bon bye bye tree, more like it, not bonsai. Um, dog takes after the cat. In the sense that he's always, like, climbing on the damn counters and shit, trying to fucking... Oh, look at this. Trying to be a, a little cat. Hi! Hello? Are you talking to me? Of course. You can see me? Uh, yeah. 
Astonishing! I've never met anyone who could see through my superior camouflage. I like that the, the box color is changing. That's very cute. Does this mean my power is fading? Who are you? I'm known by many names. The Shrouded Sensation, the Invisible Lizard, the Wait, Where'd He Go? Wonder. <laughs> I have honed my camouflage craft to the point where I can perfectly blend in with my surroundings, or so I thought. For example, I'm so good at disguising myself that I can even make my words disappear. Watch this. Holy shit. See that? No, you didn't, because my words are totally camouflaged. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. It took years of practice. <laughs> uh, but if you were a master of camouflage, how come I can see you? Quite. Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. My eyes are weird. Have you seen them? I don't think I can. <laughs> You'll just have to tell me. Well, for a start, they're on the front of your face. That's weird, is it? And they don't seem to stick out at all. They're right inside your head, taking up valuable brain room. Maybe I use my eyes for thinking? Can you at least move them in different directions at the same time? I don't think so. Should I be worried, do you think? I couldn't say I'm a magician, not a vet. However, if your weird, inferior eyes are truly immune to my vanishing act, then I have finally met a worthy opponent. Wait, what? I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. I will don a new disguise, practice new tricks, engage in the noble art of self-improvement. I don't want to change on- I don't want you to change on my account. Ah, sweet kitty, so weird, so small, so wrong. No! To restore my reputation in the, as the world's most concealed creature, I must change. It is only it is the only way to defeat your weird eyes. When did you say you wanted to defeat my weird eyes? I challenge you to find me again, cat. Here? No, I shall leave this place while I adjust my technique, and then I shall reappear somewhere else. Obviously, I will be impossible to detect, so I will leave you with a clue to my general location. Ahem. There's a place where hard hats shine, where concrete pours and diggers whine. I'll be camouflaged nearby, invisible to your weird eye. That's literally right next door, bro. You mean eyes? <laughs> Have you ever heard of poetic license? No. Well, I have one, and I'm not afraid to use it. Anyway, good luck finding me. Oh, shit. Find the chameleon. Very cool. Very interesting. Got another shiny here. Get on top of that. Thank you. Get up here. Sticky business. Cool, cool. Sure, there's some parkour challenge. Ah, oh, there's one right there. Hold on. If I get up here. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay. <laughs> Can you do something? Okay, he's sitting pretty. Fuck. <laughs> I moved it literally not even a centimeter. Okay, I don't think I can get any higher than this. So let's go where exactly? Uh, we're gonna go over here. There's another dog. Did I leave that bone somewhere? I think I did. Here we are up here. We gotta parkour our way across this fence here. Unless they just say, fuck you. Not happening, Buster. Okay. What's under this? Ah, back here. Okay, I grab, grab the bone. Got the bone. But... 
Uh, how do we get back to the... We want to get back to the construction place. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try to give this dog a bone. Oh, okay. So it has to be in a bowl. Interesting. I'll take that. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, Tessa, er, esteemed lab assistant. I managed to get your pet work portals connected up properly. That was quick. Would have been even quicker, but there was a minor space-time incident. Nothing to worry about, though. How minor? In the grand scheme of the multiverse, it was absolutely trivial. Just a teeny, tiny set of water pipe explosions that fell out of the future in, in another universe and into the recent past of this universe. Hang a moment, is that where all the water came from? Oh, it turns out I've been using linear space-time when I should have been using quadratic space-time. Laughable, really. You want to try it out? It's really cool. I need to test our friend. Is it safe? Quadratic space-time, although you mentioned it, drastic space-time, could be very interesting, too. Are either of them safe? I assume so. Anyway, if we get this working, you can use it to fast travel around the city. In that case, sign me up. Don't say no just yet. Oh, hear me out. But I said yes. Firstly, there are... Wait, what? I said yes. For real? Call me curious. Oh, no. Curiosity. I know what it did to the kitty. Uh, yay. This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret it. Do you need feathers again? Not this time. The first journey was so short, I have feathers left. Hop in! It's gonna work this time 100%. Give or take. Whee! Oh, I can move it around! Oh, 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 it's you. You came back. I thought I scared you off when I jumped at the window. That was you? Goodness me, you gave me quite a bit of fright. Sorry, sorry, I just get excited when people come to visit. You're a dog, right? Only the bestest, best, goodest boy, my human says so. It's nice to meet you properly. I don't know... <laughs> I didn't know there was an official bestest, best dog title. Ah, you may know me by my other accolades, the squishiest, smoochiest potato, or the fuzziest, happiest little popper. Oh, pooper. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, my owner told me I was the squishiest, smoochiest potato. Are you sure? Certain, I remember because she said it several times while smooshing my tummy with her nose. Gosh, that a <laughs> fucking bird poop. That award must have multiple animal categories then. It is a pleasure to meet a fellow potato. Likewise. Anyway, it was lovely to chat. I hope you have a good day. Uh, don't go. There's something... <clears throat> There's this thing that happened. Can you help me out, little potato? What do you need help with? I lost my balls. <laughs> no, dude. No, you can't just say that, bro. Oh. Uh, my tennis balls are gone. Come through and I'll show you. Uh, I guess. Okay, I guess I can. Okay, I guess I'll go around. Oh, no. Look, no balls. They're all behind you, bro. I appreciate this might be a silly question, but aren't they behind you? What? Oh, those? No, those are just my regular favorite tennis balls. I'm talking about my extra special favorite, favorite tennis balls. They're very different. What happened to them? Oh, well, you see, Tanuki built me a present. And let me guess. There was an incident of sorts. Not to start with. It was so cool. You could put tennis balls in and it would throw them for me while my owner was at work. Sounds really nice. It was perfect for a while, but um, it also did go rogue one day. Balls everywhere. 
And then it caught on fire the next uh, tiny bit. <laughs> I've got most of them back, but three favorite tennis balls are still missing. And the machine, I buried it, but please don't tell Tanuki. She would be so sad. Um, and also, please, 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 can you help me find my favorite balls? I'd be so grateful. Sure, but how will I know they're your favorite balls? Don't all tennis balls look the same? Didn't I see some tennis balls around, but I couldn't pick them up? Absolutely not. Each one is subtle, different from the others. The scent, the text, the, ta the taste, the texture, the personality. Not sure I'd be able to tell the favorites from the non-favorites if that's the case. Well, my favorite balls also have bright rainbow-colored stripes. Now that's a description I can work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me, and I will guard them properly. Sure thing, big potato. You're the best, little potato. I want banana. Not a potato. You fucking idiot. Fucking... Fucking dumbass. Fucking stupid. Stupid dog. <gasps> Napping spot. Nap. No. Very nice. Wake up. Okay. In a greenhouse, eh? Okay. And the bird is on top of there. Hmm, how does one get up there? I could climb. Don't know if I have the stamina. Aha, I do! Oh, they're right there, dude! Sticky business. And then... Is that... Oh, fuck me. I went the other way with it. Is this one of your balls? You retard? Fuck. Come on, me! It's like playing golf. Oh, fuck me, dude. Come on. Catch the dog's balls. One out of three. Alright, cool. A little bit of ivy we can climb right here. I want to get up here, though. Oh! There's one of the other balls. No! Oh, fuck. Why the fuck do I get it down? Oh. oh God damn it. I keep hitting the wrong fucking one. Ah! I survived that big one from the beginning. I should be fine with this. Okay. Ayo! One more to go. Whoa. I wanted you to get up there. Get up there. You did it three times already. Okay. Like that one. Like that one. Okay. Okay. Just fuck them. Fuck them. Jesus. There's a shiny. Probably get that from here. Ooh, I can slide down. Get that shiny. I wonder. Oh! I'm back here! I remember this place. I'm gonna take the slipper. The door's open. Was it open? Oh, this is. Oh, okay. Hi, Tanuki. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can climb this. Oh, there's more up here. No, can't get that. Interesting. Hmm. Where would this final ball be? I don't know. I am going to talk to Tanuki real quick. It's 
put on the pet work, but I need feathers to power it up. Got any? Yep, here you go. Perfect. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to use it. Oh, cool. I guess that's the only other one I can go to. Okay. Good to know. And I'm back here. All right, well, I think that was a productive episode, <laughs> if not just a little weird. Talked to a lot of people, did a couple of quests, but uh, next time we're going to probably go find these little ducklings. Oh, they're right next by. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm definitely. Oh, there's a fish, too, to my right. Fish over here. Past the dog. Hmm. I tried to give him a bone, but he didn't want it. Okay. Well, I'm going to call the episode there. Banana Cat Adventures will continue. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.